Okay, call the meeting to order at 7.01 p.m. All right, good job. Um, His Worship uh, Jacobson is away on holidays out of province. And we have on Zoom uh, CFO Ganita and Fire Chief Fedora. Uh, Okay, so moving forward. Adoption of the agenda. Resolve that the agenda for August 29, 2023, special meeting of council be adopted. Moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Bobick. Any discussion, additions, deletions? Seeing nothing, all in favor? Carried. You should take me right down. Uh, General business section three, uh, 3.1. For I did take out the, the resolution, so this is information okay. if uh, okay. we're missing the mayor. So we won't be able to put a resolution on mm -hmm. without all the council here. So we'll have to do it next Tuesday to either way. So okay. this is our chance so to see the fire board. So this is just a. Uh, an update for information then yeah okay um, so as you saw there um, and I guess I can report uh, from the negotiating committee uh, for the fire board uh, with municipality Swan Valley West is that we have reached a tentative agreement with municipality Swan Valley West for the creation of a Swan Valley fire board uh, for Swan Valley fire department um, as you can see in the document, the draft document is there. Um, as of today, there's been a few little typo edits from what was originally put put on there uh, for it move to get it moving forward. Um, it is a, in my thought, a very uh, fair agreement uh, that was being proposed. Uh, there was some give and take on both sides to achieve this goal um, so as you can see through there if there's any questions if people um, uh, have read it um, <coughs> myself or Councilor Boychuk um, will try and answer any of the questions that you may have Councilor White well, first thank you guys for the work with uh, dealing with our partners it's not always easy but it's always attainable. And I think this is the first time in 20 or 25 years that the two, these two municipal governments have agreed to get together. Is it perfect? Probably not. But it's a beginning. It's a start. We have two councils wanting to make a, hopefully our council does, but two councils wanting to look at a program where we work together. So uh, I'm 100% in favor of it. Okay. Councilor Medwood? I just have a question with regards to how it's going to work out with the purchase of a new fire truck and how that plays out. Okay, um, as in the agreement, uh, Swan Valley West has committed uh, to the board um, that the board will sell their uh, existing pumper, the 20, 20, 2015 pumper. The sale of those proceeds will be contributed uh, or will be used by the board towards the purchase price of the new fire truck. The balance remaining will be the responsibility of the town of Swan River. And the asset of the fire truck will be owned by the board. So well, um, the, the, the truck is being cost shared basically between the two municipalities in its purchase price. So even, so even though we've, we've already put the purchase through, they're going to contribute the proceeds from the sale of their existing truck that's there towards that, and then the balance, the Town of Swan River will uh, be responsible for through uh, the borrowing bar law that's been passed. For. So then the town ratepayers are potentially going to be borrowing upwards of $600,000? No. Uh, we'll, the, the purchase price in its entirety was 700 and some ish, something like that for the truck. Um, <coughs> so it'd be less what the proceeds of the sale of the Swan Valley West truck 
and then the balance will be for the town. Okay, but we mm -hmm. also had a resolution and passed the additional expenditure for there was more equipment okay, and so, more. Yeah, so the equipment that was paid for by the our existing fire truck uh, reserve um, through the agreement and discussion that equipment will become property of the board because that reserve was jointly contributed to by both the town and the Swan Valley West in the funding agreements okay. for that. And then uh, the remaining uh, change order uh, for the 13,000 and change to the truck itself um, has been agreed to that the town will fund that from the portion of the reserve that was not contributed to by Swan Valley West because the uh, our current reserve is made up of two aspects one that uh, a value of the dollars was jointly contributed to and then the money that we received uh, from the grant with uh, of forty thousand dollars and change that is sitting in the reserve that was not matched or contributed to by Swan Valley West so that change order funds will come from that amount and then that balance um, it's agreed into into the agreement that that will be retained by the town to go into a fire hall reserve okay so then theoretically we should only have to borrow roughly three hundred three hundred fifty thousand dollars exactly. for the fire truck yes okay. yeah council bob so that the contribution is based on the sale of the truck so there's mm -hmm. no hard numbers uh we, there's no hard number but we have an estimate from the company that uh did the retrofit on it or uh, inspection on it. So, so, so there is. We're fine with that to take the whatever it's sold yes. for. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, without um, releasing the preliminary number that we were given uh, by uh, an organization to, that was willing to. Just look at that history. Uh, That's just. I guess I, what's the word I'm looking for? Be the middleman. Okay. Uh, um, they appraised it for us with a dollar value of what they potentially think it could get at a sale for it. So, uh, the, mm -hmm. I guess my point is that the keyword if that doesn't nutrition and it is substantially less than what like there's no hard, like I, I'm saying there's no hard numbers here. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of uh, like where you're going with the, that. The hard number is we know what the, the value of the truck purchase will be the but we don't know what the sale the sale of the other truck we have an estimate of what it will be not a hard number okay. that'll be up to the fire board uh, should both municipalities pass this uh, to agree to that sale offer or wherever so we basically have an estimate on the contribution yes okay. uh, Councilor Bojack. yeah I was just gonna follow up with that basically we know that the price tag for lack of Official numbers is six hundred thousand or whatever mm -hmm. the case may be, and let's say maybe the fire truck sale is a hundred thousand. So at the end of the day, we're left with five hundred thousand to contribute. Right. So no matter what happens, mm -hmm. we've already approved the total amount, and with the sale mm -hmm. of that, it's it's going to be beneficial for our tax or ratepayers. Right. It's a win-win. Okay, Councilman Edward. I'm not sure. I'm feeling like. The whole concept of the fire board and the joining it is absolutely in the best interest of the ratepayers. But when the town of Swan River is putting out five hundred thousand dollars on a truck that the our neighboring partners are only contributing a fifth or a sixth of that amount, I'm not sure that I'm seeing that as a fair to our ratepayers coming into this because it was my understanding from this agreement that we were supposed to look at the assets that each municipality had and from there establish some common ground and move forward so that there was kind of equal contribution based on the rate of use within those municipalities so if it was a 60 40 use to the town of swan river then the town of swan river should essentially be contributing 60 percent of the assets but mm -hmm. if we're contributing significantly more then i'm not sure that i'm seeing um i can answer those questions if we can go on camera i just can't divulge some of that confidential information in open public because it's a 
negotiation, negotiation uh, and which could hamper the sale of the truck. Okay. Okay, but uh, I can answer those questions in camera. Please. For you. Thank you. Okay. Um, so this is for your information. Um, there is no uh, resolution on there right now for tonight. Uh, I thought there would be, but not. Um, so that's there, but it's definitely a step forward for bringing things, the valley together as a whole to work on, start different things um, to move things forward. Um, there will definitely be some operational issues that we need to sort out in the short order uh, for it, uh, for the board, um, but those are not insurmountable um, that we can't get through. Okay. So I can answer Karina Medwood's, uh, Councillor Medwood's um, question in camera for that, regarding that information. So no other in questions, uh, concerns regarding the agreement. Okay. Okay, 3.2, Fire Board Appointees. Uh, resolved that the General Government Finance Committee consisting of Deputy Mayor Moore, Deputy Mayor David Morio, Councillor Tracy Boychuk, and Mayor Lance Jacobson be appointed to the Swan Valley Fire Board as representatives for the town of Swan River. Moved by Councillor Medwood, seconded by Councillor Powell. Uh, any discussion? And you guys have been there since square one, you know those numbers, you know the issues, you know what people are talking about. It'd be naive for somebody like myself to step into that board and try to direct because I'd be saying, why is that, why is that, why is that? You guys already know the that's, so I think that's much more efficient. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that was the consensus when uh, His Worship and myself uh, talked about this, was to keep the initial people the same, to keep the ball rolling, and then down the road we can look at um, changing up the membership if, if need be. Okay. So all in favor? Carried. Uh, 3.3 to appoint an auditor. Resolved that the town of Swan River accept the audit proposal for the fiscal years ending December 31st, 2023, 2024 and 2025 submitted by PKHC Chartered Professional Accountants. Moved by Councillor Powell, seconded by Councillor Medwid. Discussion. No discussion. Um, so we all this is for our auditors for the years moving forward. All in favor? Carried. 3.4. Is that pit? Label, pit, 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 Lado. pit Lado terms of engagement. Resolve that the chief administrative officer be authorized to sign the terms of engagement with Pit, pit Blado LLP. Moved by <coughs> Councilor Medwood, seconded by Councilor White. Discussion. Uh, Councilor Medwood and then Councilor White. Um, do we have money in the budget? And if, if it's not been accounted for, where are we getting it from? Uh, there, there is no money specifically for this in 2023. That's why I'm asking council's permission to do this. But uh, the estimated cost, it really does depend on on which, what the parties agree and disagree to. It can be as long <coughs> as ten days or as much as ten months. So, uh, and that could be at 400, and, you know, at their hourly rate. That adds up quick, but. Uh, we would most likely use uh, to, you know, I'll likely have at the end of the year, we'll, we'll take a look at what's in the in recreation budget. It's possible to use our reserves. So I can get the CFO to give council a report on what they believe this, this should be expended of. Whether it's a, a surplus if possible or a reserve. So basically, as, as with all uh, decisions, if it's not in the financial plan and we expend it, uh, administration has to reallocate or monies left from other areas and surpluses from the end of the year to cover that off. 
Okay. Is there money in the recreation reserves to potentially cover it? Uh, potentially, yes. If it's yes, but it would be earmarked for that, and there's a, there's a lot of recreation projects in the future. As is this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, is is that something's got to give down the road in the financial plan to cover off the, this expense. I just want to make sure there's money in either yeah. the reserves or if there is no surplus at the end of the year. That's what the plan would be. It would be come out of reserves if there is no surplus. Okay. okay. Uh, Councilor White. Yeah, just because I'm that kind of person, I always like to get second and third opinions. A, a friend of mine is a QC, a KC now, I guess, King's Council. The practicing law for 55 years, well known in the legal world. And I said, Who are these guys? He says, They're very good guys, Dwayne. Uh, I think you can trust them implicitly. So I just like to second opinion, so I think to make us feel better. Yeah, he sounds, he was very positive with this one. Okay. Uh, any other further discussion? As we just had a meeting with the Legacy Committee, that this is a key cog in the movement of that wheel moving forward. Has there been a draft provided to the town? No, I was told that he could not do work because I would not pay him. So, not until this is passed. No, but I thought David Gray was drafting. I, received anything from I thought that was the whole thing. He was drafting the MOU. They were going to meet, discuss it, finalize it. Then our lawyer was going to review it. And if there's any concerns, then they, and then the finish and go. Yeah, so now we're we, drafting the whole thing? Yeah, and back in July, or it would be July, uh, I, told, I informed the Legacy Committee that they were free to send us any draft, seven drafts, one draft, anything, that we would be happily, we would happily accept it. And without speculating the issues on that, we will uh, Council Medley. Uh, I just wanted to say I'm fully in agreement with definitely hiring legal counsel to obtain that agreement. And as long as we have money in the reserves to cover the bill, then I'm in favor of moving forward with it. Okay, any further discussion? Seeing none, all in favor? Carried. Uh, 3.5 memorandum of understanding whereas the town of Swan River and the Swan Valley Legacy Committee agreed to and signed the memorandum of understanding dated April 28th 2023 which states the MOU shall terminate 120 days after the date of signing therefore it be resolved that the town of Swan River agreed to extend the termination date of the MOU signed April 28th 2023 to December 31st 2023. Moved by Councilor Medwood, seconded by Councilor Boychuk. Any discussion? Actually, I would like to see that date not extended so long so that we don't have it later with uh, how many months to do this. I can mean, maybe shorten it up and then we can somewhat maybe have control over some of the time. So you're, Do you know what I'm saying? You're you know looking saying? to make an amendment to the resolution. Well, I don't know. That's just my thought. If you don't think it matters, then. I guess it comes forward before. I don't think the date really August, matters. September, October, November, December. I guess it's only four months. It's not usually more like six, but maybe that's not unrealistic four months. Well, we're hoping. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So I, don't, I, I think if we extend it to that, then you're saying, oh, well, we have this time to do this. If we short date it, it's a little bit more no, I, I, expedited, in my opinion. Our legal counsel knows that we want to get this. This was supposed to be done early August, so we're, we're a month behind. We're going to be a month behind well, if it is done. So I, okay. I guess I, I always have it on the, like, tomorrow morning. Calling. Yeah. Then I'm good with it. If you're all gonna say, I would change it, but I'm okay if you don't. If you're okay. Okay. 
All in favor of extension resolution? Carried. Okay, remember the standing. And Mr. Poole, are you able to put in a, are we going in the camera? a, a quick five minute camera resolution? Pass the resolution first, and then Mr. Poole is just doing his thing. It should show up in like Google. That's what I don't like. I don't prefer push Google, but it was. Well, looks like you've done all the stuff to your computer in the last little while. How many kids have played on your computer? Just thank goodness, but they're not charging it. <coughs> that it's a result that pursuant to section 152.3 of the municipal act council go into committee and close the meeting to the public moved by councillor white seconded by councillor medwood all in favor uh, we've got discussion. Part, pardon me discussion, discussion. Uh, we're going to talk about the, uh, the fire board the fire board uh, some confidential aspects of the Yes. Uh, fire board. Is that all that you were? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Carried. We are in camera. Okay, we're here. We're back in the meeting. Okay. We're done. Uh, we'll be here shortly. One more hand raise. Uh, the adjournment. Two. Uh, Resolve that the special meeting of council now adjourn at 7.40 p.m. Moved by Councilor Boychek, seconded by Councilor Bobek. All in favor? Uh, we're adjourned. Years ago, we used to have.